G'day Aries, welcome back to TJ Terror Down Under. I'm gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. Let's go. Give me three cards to start with. Who's thinking about loving Aries right now? Okay. That was quick. <laughs> Oh, you're on the bottom of the deck too. Male or female, king of wands. Clarify card one, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card two, please. Cross watchers. This could be your energy. If not, it will be, well, somebody else's. Holy crap. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about Aries right now. Wow, that was an explosion. Clarify card three, please. <coughs> All the decks are pre-shuffled with the energy of the question of who's thinking about loving you right now. What loving energy is being projected towards you. And all the decks are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Okay, three more for the love energy coming towards Aries, please. I like to get all the cards out first, so it just bear with me. We're over halfway there. <laughs> Won't be long. And I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend, wherever you are and whenever you are watching this video. Okay. Clarify card one in row two, please. And don't forget to spoil yourself with something nice, Aries, because you de will deserve it. Okay. No, other way around. Okay. Clarify card two in row two, please. Okay. Whoa. All right. And clarify card three in row two, please. And then we can begin. Let's change his mind. Oh, itchy nose. There we go. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Let's begin. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Mm -hmm. Someone's trying to trust and have faith in the situation here. Ooh. The cycle could have ended because of um, some trust issue between you two. Trying to trust that this old cycle will end and a new cycle will begin with you. Alright. Oh, there's a bit of hair that's tickling my nose. And it's just, yeah. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Ooh, Aries, someone's very passionate about you. Oh, look at that. The ending and the beginning. The full card. Wow. Ooh, eight of pentacles. That's good. Three of pentacles. Cool. Seven of wands. I said stop there. Okay, so they're looking very passionate about you wanting this new beginning here. They've done a lot of work on themselves and they're wanting to work together with you. Okay. Wanting to put this work together with you. All right, seven of wands. Ooh, the emperor, that's your card. And the magician. Ooh, what's a major arcana so far? Willing to fight for this, passionate about fighting for this. Fighting for you and manifesting all four aces with you. Cup, one sword, pentacle, all aces. 
Wow, wanting it all with you. Passionate, yeah, about standing up for you. Standing up for this connection with you. Wanting all new beginnings with you. And we've got the fool there as well. All right, very passionate. Ooh, what's this deception? Someone is wearing a self, a false self mask in this relationship. Ooh, four coins. And the strength card, another major. The deception is that they're holding back. Yeah, they're holding back. Because they have this massive amount of passion for you. Yeah, they've been holding back. It's taking a lot of strength for them to hold back the passion they have for you. Deception. Yeah, I think they've been, yeah, you don't see this. They're showing a false, yeah, they're not showing this. They're still holding on to you, feeling extremely strongly about you. Very strongly about you. It's taking all their strength to hold back from you. Wow, okay. Mmm, they've been hiding this though. Trying to trust that the worst is over. Okay. Let's keep going. Condor. You're too enmeshed in this situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before ta making any decisions or taking action. So, mm, they're a bit caught up in this. Ooh, the battle wagon, which is the chariot. The lady and the lord, which is the lovers. Major Arcana's all over this reading. Four of wands. And, oh, the five of swords. Yeah, okay. See, yeah, they're too, they're too, yeah, they're really caught up in what they feel for you. They want to charge in triumphantly to have this soulmate connection with you again and have something stable with you. But they, yeah, I think charging in is going to sabotage this. And they, they want to go too fast into this being a connection again and something stable. St stability and passion here. This is the action they want to take, but they know that they're so caught up in this that if they rush this, they're going to sabotage it. They're going to wreck the... yeah. Could be too that they, they're trying to trust that you've ended a cycle with somebody else. Okay. Platypus. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. All right. Oh, the moon card, the knight of wands, the queen of cups, and the king of swords. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so there's a fear here. There's a fear and, the, and, and doubt. And this is why they're complaining. They're keeping it a secret that they're complaining. They're not with you. They want this passionate action with you. They want this beautiful love with you. But they know they need to, you know, they need to use their brain here and be a bit more logical and just be happy that you're even in their life at all. I'm hearing just, they, they know they've just got to be sensible about this. Yeah. 
I think whatever this complaining is, um, they're keeping that very quiet. I can hear him like a kid going, I just want to be with the Aries, please, I just want to love them, have passion with them. But then now they need to grow up and miss this series and stop complaining. You haven't even come towards them yet. Been hiding the fact that you feel this way. <laughs> It's like, if I rush in, I'm going to wreck it. So, you know. Mm, okay. And the falcon, or peregrine. I'm not sure how you say that. Anyway. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. Okay. So they're looking for that opportunity to act on. The wheel of fortune, or the wheel of the year. And the city, which is temperance. Temperance? I'm sure it's temperance. 14. It's 14. I'm sure it's temperance. Oh, bugger. I hate that. <laughs> Let me just check. Hang on a second. Oh, what deck can I use to check that? No, I can use this one. All right, I'll we'll use this one. Let's have a look. It's a nine, thirteen. Uh, two, ten, two, no, no. Come on. There we go. Oh no, that's judgment. Ooh, what's that? It is swords, and they saw ones upside down for. Oh yeah, from another reading. Okay. And I'm sorry, <laughs> I've got to check this, oh that's 11, so it's not that, there we go, temperance, 14, yes, that was right, always confuses me this card, but it's like no, the pouring of the water, there you go, um, yeah they've been patiently waiting for this wheel to turn in their favour for an opportunity to come up for them to act, yeah. Yeah, and there's an opportunity here. <laughs> yeah, they've been waiting for this opportunity, waiting for things to turn in their favour, for the opportunity pre to present itself. They've been patiently waiting here, and that's why they've been hiding the way they feel. These extremely strong feelings they have for you, Aries. <laughs> hmm... But yeah, I'm hearing the King of Swords is saying, well, it hasn't been the right time, so stop complaining. It's not right time to take action here. You have to wait for the right time. And don't rush things, because you're going to wreck it. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, I can't give you what you want. They're afraid they're not going to be able to give you what you want. Or you're not going to want what they what they want to give. All right, what does this love energy want to say to Aries, please? Yeah, they're afraid that you're not going to be interested in what they are offering. Okay, we have. I should have told you how I felt. Yeah, they want to tell you how they feel. They've been holding back from telling you. But again, this you know they could might not have told you how they felt, and that's why things ended because it was trust issues. Mm, I'm not really feeling this as an ex though. I think they've just been waiting for you to end a cycle with someone else. Okay, I'm not ready to be with you yet. <laughs> they don't feel it's the right time yet to tell you how they feel. And I'm afraid you will reject me. Yeah, they're still in that mode of... They need to get brave, and they're not yet. They're holding back until they get the courage. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And they're waiting for the right opportunity. 
but there is that fear here with the moon. Mm, okay. I just feel a nervousness more than anything. I don't feel that there's anything negative with this person. They really want to be with you, but... They're just waiting for the right opportunity to say something. But yeah, they are worried that you're not going to be interested at all. Trying to trust that you have ended a cycle with somebody else. have done a lot of work on themselves here they've been working really hard here so that they can work together with you and offer you something good hmm wow all right well when the opportunity arises they will approach <laughs> so hopefully they don't rush things well they know not to rush things so yeah Alright, well that's your reading Aries, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, leave a nice comment below, that would be awesome, and thank you so much for watching, I appreciate every single one of you. Alright, well, all the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.